one more thing. Uh, one of the plant guys actually came over here and complained because you told him, don't worry, and I'm quoting this here. I'm quoting this from what he told me you said. Don't worry, fuckface. I intend to cross-thread every single one of these bolts on this whole entire assembly, so they'll be twice as strong because it'll have twice as many threads after I get done. End quote. End quote. You, you didn't say that, did you? No, that's not what I said. Okay, good. I'm glad you didn't say that. So... I said... Listen, fuckface, if you don't leave me alone and stop asking me stupid questions like how tight the bolts are supposed to be in the assembly that has a torque spec right beside it, that I will cross-thread every single one on this whole thing, and they will never come out. They'll have double the threads, double the strength, and if you keep fucking with me, I will get the red Loctite out of my job box, and we'll never have to have the tightness conversation again, because we'll never be able to get them back out. That's what I said. He was very wrong. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did have it a little wrong. Uh, you do realize that he could run us out of this plant at any time, right? Like, you piss him off, he could just run us out of here. Oh, okay. Look, I, I see what you're saying here, but let me clear some things up for you real quick. Two things, most importantly. Number one, ain't nobody running me no fucking way. Okay? He comes and tells me to leave. I will calmly walk to my job box, load it into my vehicle, and I will leave. I might stop by the break room on the way. Ain't nobody going to stop me from doing that. Uh, secondly, and, so what if he runs us off? Like there isn't thousands of more job sites waiting for people to get there and work on them. I am not job scared, okay? And I do not need him micromanaging me. That's supposed to be your job, all right? He came over there and asked me how tight the bolts are supposed to be. He's, this isn't even his department. He's not a fucking engineer. What's he doing over here asking me stupid questions like that? It's hot. It's humid. I'm obviously working. He's not five years old. He doesn't get to ask stupid questions while he's watching an adult do something. So. Look, I get what you're saying, okay? He shouldn't have been micromanaging you. He was breathing over your shoulder. You're hot. You're sweating. You're just trying to work. I get it. But please, please just tone it down a little bit, okay? The job's not very important, I agree, but... Look, the break room here, you know it's got drinks for a dollar and candy bars are 50 cents. Okay, this is the nicest break room we've had in four jobs. We get to use the restrooms inside the plant and not Porta John's. All right, just, just calm down a little bit. You know that's the kind of shit that actually matters to us. Okay, okay, I get it. I'll calm it down, guys. We better get out of here before we do have to take that assembly back apart, because... Because... Because why, Ricky? Why do we need to leave before the assembly needs to be taken back apart? Well, because, you know, after I had told him that, I actually kind of thought he was going to kick us out. So, I may have dropped a small baby uh, JB wheel down in the bottom of the bolt hole and then ran the bolt down in there with red Loctite on it. But I did leave the top two or three threads with blue Loctite on it, so I would give the next person who was disassembling or attempting to a little bit of hope. But, you know, at the same time... It's really not an assembly anymore. It should be classified as an assembled. Because it will never be reassembled. It, it's just assembled now. It's together. And it won't ever be back apart, if you know what I'm saying. 